Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome to <clears throat> a, another Monday night stream. Uh, tonight is obviously is RPR on a Monday, rapid picture racing. I'm your commentator, RL Cairo. Tonight we are at Hungary in a sprint race and with a one shot qualifying session. And as you can see, we have a, a slight bit of rain. Now, I don't know if it's going to go through to either the sprint or the race. I don't know. We will have to wait and see what happens. Um. But as you can see, drivers are out. Like I say, it is a one shot. Uh, qualifying, so... It kind of depends where drivers are going to put themselves. And where they're going to be at the pace. Now, we did have a little bit of a... Practice session with some with the drivers. Um, so we did get to see who was um, see where people were at the paces and stuff. Um, there was oh that was a bit wide there from. Johnny um, there was a few drivers that was reaching into the 113s at most 114s or was it 115s I can't remember I think it was the 115s but all in all can change let's see What happens going forward if we are still going to be racing in the wet? But this is your results for the wet. J in P1 with a 129.5. Lattice only a tenth behind in second. Stewie third. Johnny Stokes fourth. Lister fifth. Cam sixth. Mickey G in seventh. Full air eighth. Manatee in 9th, Mrs. Cole 10th, Scotty 11th, Chubb 12th, Cherry 13th, Ares in 14th, and Frenzy and Casto didn't set a lap time um, going through this one shot qualifying. So, yeah, even though there is a sprint race, still going to be a lot of work for both of those McLaren drivers, but we do know that Frenzy does like to start from the back and work his way up to the grid. So we are now back with a dry race. So this is going to be sprint race. We will see how things work out we'll see what the drivers can do and we will go through tire strategies see what tires um, the drivers are on it is a 12 lap race and Hungary is a very high dead track, so there's potentially going to be in the main race. Could we maybe see one stop, two stop? We will wait and see and wait and find out. So let's get a couple of details up first then. 
so we'll take that off so top seven are on the medium tires down to Mickey G full air so Manatee are on the softs and then Mrs. Carl, Scotty, Chubb, Cherry, Ares, Frenzy are on the mediums and Casto is on the soft tyres so we are going to see and I mean a great lap from Jay in that short qualifying that one shot qualifying session so we will see excuse me we will see if and we know Jay can fight with field so we'll see how Jay does going forward I think as well Lattice is still in the lead with the championship so I'm unsure how many points I don't think it's too much but we will see how things go pretty nice clean formation lap from everybody so we'll just wait for the drivers to line up and is it going to give me a better view than this hopefully what well, we've got one two three four five red lights lights are out and we are underway for round 10 of hungry in rpr Jay gets a really good start, so does Lattice. Lattice also gets a good start. He's going to be the first one to go to turn one. Jay runs a little bit deep, but still manages to keep that P1 from Lattice. Lattice is under attack at the moment by Stewie. List is also behind Stewie as well. We've got Johnny and Mickey G there, so it's the top seven are still pretty much close together. List has made one position up. Johnny's lost a position. What's happened to Cam? Oh, didn't see that there. So Cam and Mrs. Carl back down right at the back down at the field. She's probably got into a bit of a incident or contact with in turn one not too sure i'm sure i'll probably find out later on we'll see what happens fully losing six positions as well at the start let's quickly look see how things go jay at the moment currently setting the fastest lap of the race controlling or well, maintaining excellent pace away from second place driver and championship leader Lattice it's closely followed by Stewie Chubb and Sir Manatee are wheel to wheel going into turn 3 to turn 4 it looks like Chubb got the better of that so Chubb is now in front of Sir Manatee Casto is at the moment up 7 places Mickey G's up a place, up a place. Johnny is still behind Lister, so Lister's defending pretty much really well. The top three of Stewie, Lattice and Jay looking to maybe pull a gap from Lister, but uh, from yeah, from Lister and Johnny, 1.3 seconds at the moment. Johnny's that little bit closer again to Lister let's quickly go up to the top we've got Castro making a move on Sir Manatee going in to final sector going into the hairpin a little bit of contact wheel to wheel banging but it looks like Castro's got that move done 
Doris has now enabled Lattice going into turn one. So we have a new leader. Lattice is now your race leader, Jay, down to P2. So comfortable three lap. Uh, three laps going there for Jay at the moment. Jay will, will still keep going. Does have a fast approaching Stewie behind as well. The gap to Lister has dropped just a little bit. So Lister's back in DRS range of the top three. Stewie is on the rear, literally on the rear. Near enough of Jay. But Jay is keeping the pace, looking to stick with Lias at the moment. Still comfortably. Everyone's pretty close. Top 10's pretty close. As we see. Stewie. Still looking for. A move maybe on Jay. We'll soon have a look at that. Lattice is looking to pull away. Since the fastest lap of the race. So now. Jay is out of the DRS range Stewie on DRS of Jay still Jay little snag of oversteer there I think but doesn't lose any momentum going through um, turn 3 again everybody is pretty much on par with how drivers are going at the moment so it's still looking pretty fast and pacey at the moment Cam's looking to work his way back up possibly after some contact at the start of the race Jay at the moment is still holding Stewie back gap to lies now is 1.3 seconds Stewie's looking to make a move on Jay but Ox to not make that move I think is Stewie is going to wait maybe make a move Lister is backing with DRS range and Lister will get DRS going down the main straight does pick up the DRS Stewie's looking to get a little bit closer to Jay Jay does get the DRS there. I think Lice was helping Jay out there just a little bit to give Jay some DRS down the street. But Stewie gets up to P2, so Jay down to P3. But he's still going, so great battle going off there. Lister is also looking to come up on Jay as well. Casto up nine positions on those softer compound of tyres oh little slide there from Stewie coming out of the chicane but he still managed to keep on top of the pace there Chubb is being chased down by Sir Manatee and Scotty Cherry is in a world of his own with a nice gap to his teammate I'm doing his own race air uh, frenzy up three at the moment a res is there and we ha have movement at the top lister has made a move on j so lister now up to p3 j to p4 does have Johnny on the back as well. Casto. Casto's made a move on Mickey G. So up to P6 for Casto. Slap of oversteer there for Casto coming out of turn three, coming up to turn four. Casto then obviously starting from the back is Roy setting the pace up at the moment. And still going, Johnny is on the back of Jay. Still going, Lister. A little bit of a gap going again between the top two. Stewie is on the back of Lice. 
J will again get the DRS from Lister as well. Johnny will also get the DRS too. Casto is pretty close as well, so Casto will get the DRS as well. Is Johnny going to be looking to make a move? Not at the moment. Johnny's not close enough to make a move. Oh, Jay, Jay is that a little bit closer to Lister. So Jay is maybe, can we see Jay maybe again battling it out with Lister to get up to the top three? Again, we'll see how that gap or see what happens going through with five laps to go sorry about that but anything can change up to then cam or oh, first penalty for cam there So three second penalty there for Cam Scotty is on the back of Chubb now three tenths on to the back of Chubb so Scotty may look at making a move going into turn one Jay's a little bit closer to Lister's Johnny though is also there as well so could we potentially see another move going down the main straight Johnny's got the DRS on Jay, Jay's looking to make a move. Jay's going for a move into turn one on Lister. Jay holds the position, gets the DRS. Johnny's looking to get it on oh, contact. Oh. Oh, that was nasty contact there between Johnny, uh, Lister and Jay. Jay is the one that is out of the race. Don't think Jay will be happy about that, but we will get to see what happens there. Full air is in the pits. This is going to be our first safety car, but I don't think that it's going to be out for too long. But what, before that little incident there, what a battle it was there between Lister, Johnny and Jay. That's really unfortunate for that to happen to Jay. Hopefully it will just be a racing incident. But we will see how things go from there it looked like then that Lattice was going to go into the pits Johnny is in the pits now maybe for it looks like a front wing change and a set of soft ties to go towards the end 5 second penalty for a -Rez for speeding in the pit lane so no damage for Lister Cast out up 12 positions. So Casto has done really well there. Getting up to P4 on those softer compound tyres, but I wonder how bad those ties are so let's quickly have a look so approximately eight lap holds for the top line everybody else has 
gone into the pits for a set of fresh soft tyres may go for one last lap Mr. Carl will catch up to the pack fully obviously motoring as well so he can try effectively get up to the pack as well so we can get back under racing speed but what a fantastic I will say a fantastic start to the sprint race Jay was looking to me an exceptional move on Lister got caught up with Lister and Johnny as well we'll see what happens with that hopefully it will be a racing incident we will see what stewards think Hopefully safety car will be in this lap because Fuller is now on the back of the pack. So safety car is now in this lap. So we are going to have two racing laps to the end. So Lattice is your lead safety car driver and will be the one to decide when to go safety cars in the pits I think Lattice is going to wait and now we are off on the way Lattice and Stewie get away well cast out already on the rear of Lister going into turn one and Casto get a move done. Stewie's already making a move on Lister. Casto's made a move on Lister. Will spin in. Casto gets the move done. Exceptional move there by Casto. Stewie and Lattice still going at it as well. And it looks like Lattice got the better of that. So Stewie and Lattice still going off. Casto made an exceptional move on Lister. We've got Johnny making a move on Chubb. So move there, Cam's looking to make a move on Cherry maybe, does have Johnny coming, also Chubbs also coming in, oh, full air goes round, going into this game, not sure what happened there, a lot of early break in there, maybe try and make a move out of there, Johnny's on the rear of Cam. Johnny's looking to go around the outside of Cam. Oh, oh, we've got contact between Scotty and Cam. Going round the hairpin there. Or just before the hairpin, sorry. So that's lap final lap of the race. Two incidents, two big incidents we've seen. For now, let's go back to position change. So, Cam, uh, Castro at the moment is on 13. Cherry is. Has Cherry got wing damage. Three second time penalty for Lister. So we are coming towards the end of the sprint race. We'll see if there is going to be any change. Mickey G's looking maybe to get a move. Oh, Lister, I think that's not going to happen there. But let's quickly jump up to the top. Johnny's made a move on Sir Manatee. So Johnny's made up a position. But we will come round to 
the last lap and Elias will take the win from the sprint race Stewie will go second Casto Mickey G does get fourth place Lister will drop down to P9 Casto gets a P3 from starting from the back so a great job there from Casto does get a driver in eight for that as well so the first one for the sprint then that is in first Stewie second Casto third after starting from the back of the grid Mickey G in fourth Johnny in fifth so Manatee six Chubb in eighth seventh Frenzy in eighth listed down in P9 with the penalty Mrs. Carl, 10th, Cherry, 11th, Fuller, 12th, A-Res, 13th, Scotty, Cam and Jay are out of the sprint race after coming together, uh, coming together between Scotty and Cam. I think Scotty was involved in something else as well, didn't really catch anything of that, but we will see. If anything will change from there. So then we come back into the main race. Are we going to see A change in anything I think we might see we could see a change we'll have to wait to see how things go I think maybe Um, see I'm thinking here who would be um, my top three so let's quickly have a look at the tyres then so Lice is on a set of mediums Stewie is on softs Casto is also on softs as well Mickey G, Johnny and Samanity are on mediums. Chubbs on soft, Frenzy, Lister, Mrs. Carl and Cherry are on mediums. Fully opting for the harder tyres. A-Res on mediums, Scotty on softs, Cam on mediums and GA also on the soft tyres so I'm going to say top three are Let's swap the top three around. So I'm going to say Casto. Casto, Lattice and Stewie. Or. You know what? I'm actually going to bring Johnny into this. Depending what happens, I'm bringing Johnny into this. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny on a podium. And Cam, top 10. Because Cam likes this track. So if everything goes okay, there's going to be a four-way battle for the podiums. 
so we've got four or five red lights lights are out and we are underway Lice gets a beautiful start jumps over to the inside of Stewie Castro's also got a pretty decent start as well Johnny in the mix of battling out Mickey G just beat Johnny into turn one we've got a is this a VSC or a full safety car what are we on virtual safety car so a virtual safety car um, with a little bit of a collision between Cherry and Ares. Ares doesn't have any wing. So Ares is going to be going into the pitch. So again, I will say top three could be Casto Stewie Lattice or Casto Lattice Stewie. But then again, I did say I'm going to throw Johnny into it as well. So we'll see. Maybe Mickey G as well. And then top 10 for Williams, boys. Back on the green flag racing we go then. And Stewie already hounding. Lattice. Going up, Lattice sets the fastest lap of the race so far. Stewie is on the softer compound of tyre. We're looking to make a move on Lattice. Lattice covers the inside. Stewie on the outside now turns into the inside. Stewie's looking to go down the inside of Lattice. Going turn three and turn two. Absolutely amazing driving by both those drivers there. We've got another yellow flag. Lister is out. Johnny is out. No, Johnny. Oh. No. Full air five second penalty. For a collision with Johnny. Johnny and Lister are out. So, safety car. So, that's just through the spanner in the works now. So, still keeping the same predictions on my top three, but anything can happen. And literally anything could happen. So we'll have to see how things go from now. I think the top three could change over. It could swap over. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But there could be a different change maybe in, into the rest of the field. So we will have to wait and see, see how things go on from now. Yes, Hungaroring can be difficult to drive. It's a fun track to race on, don't get me wrong. But we will see if there is anything that could potentially spice it up. Which we will see. Still keeping my predictions, like I said, the top three could change over, it could stay the same. We 
we don't know we will find out when it comes to the time of doing that so Fuller's got rid of his five second penalty and is back up to the grid Missy J is going into the pits is it for a new set of tyres what tyres are you going on let's do it this way instead they those tyres will potentially get you to the end of the race so Jay comes back out from the pits he will catch up with the back of the grid as well so quickly run down through the grid and the tyres tyres are all still the same a few drivers have pitted so we've got Lattice in first Stewie second Castro third Mickey G in fourth Frenzy in fifth Cam in sixth Cherry seventh Chubb now eighth Scotty 9th, Cherry 8th, Manatee in 10th, Mrs. Carr 11th, Full Air 12th, Ares 13th, J 14th, and Lister and Scotty, uh, Lister and Johnny are the two drivers that we have lost. Safety car is now in this lap, so Lattice is. Now the lead safety car will bring the pack up close together and then it's down to Lattice when he is going to pull the plunger. I decide to go safety car has peeled into the pits. I think Lattice is going to do pretty much the same in the sprint we are underway again great start there by Lattice just gets the jump on Stewie Casto also there as well Stewie is a little bit closer Mickey G also getting the gap in as well we've got Cam making a move on Frenzy Cam gets the move an excellent move there by Cam so now Cam is on to get up to the top four so we'll keep an eye on the gap but a great move there by Cam on Frenzy Cherry Chubb are pretty close together as well Cherry may look at trying to get a move done on Frenzy in the latter stages Chubb at the moment is also there as well. We've got Full Air on the back of Mrs. Carl as well. We've got A Res and J battling out. Jay's looking to make up some positions or hopefully a few good positions for J in after what happened to him in the sprint race gap is kindly pulling away frenzy there just letting cam know that is there frenzy's looking at maybe a little bit closer getting to fight come back again for that position j and a res are still pretty much close together so let's quickly have a look at the battle at the back as we go along a res they getting a little bit squirrely can j maybe looking doesn't opt to go for the move yet Jay doesn't so we'll keep an eye on that battle there at the moment gap is 1.1 seconds 1.2 seconds from the top three to Mickey G as well so we'll keep an eye on the three at the top at the moment comes pulling a little bit of a gap to Frenzy Frenzy there has Oh, the gap back Chubb is on the rear of Cherry Scott is on the back of 
Chubb and Manatee and Mrs. Carl and Fully a roll in the DRS line. DRS has now enabled this lap. So it won't be this time. The drivers will get DRS. Friends is making the move on Cam going into turn one. Jay's got the move done on Frenzy. Chubb's got a move done on Cherry. So Manatee's got a move done on Scotty. But Scotty's got the move done back on Sir Manatee. So the Alfred Mayo's P8 and P9 at the moment. Still a lot of points to grab for. Cam is again that little bit closer to Frenzy. Cherry, Chubb, Scotty, Manatee. She's Scotty looking to make him. I thought Scotty was going to make a move then on his teammate going into the chicane, but opts to not make the move. But Scotty is hounding all over his teammate. And it is the beginning of a DRS train. So this is going to be a drag down full air has got a move done on Mrs. Carl so that's a position for full air Scotty's got a lovely run out of the hairpin there can you get an even better run coming out the next hairpin on his teammate right on the rear of his teammate caster has got a move done on Stewie going into turn one so Castor up to P2 Scotty's got past his teammates, so Scotty's going to be on the charge now to catch up with Chubb. Scotty's already pulled a little bit of a gap out to his teammate. As we can see, Cherry's fighting Sir Manatee. All oh, contact between Fuller and Sir Manatee there. But not sure how much contact that was. I don't think Full Air lost any wing or anything there. That will may potentially be a racing incident. We'll have to wait and see, see how that goes. But back to the racing we go. Castro's a little bit closer to or a few times closer to Castro uh, to Lattice a little bit of a gap to Stewie as well so the gaps are pretty much closing in Cam's got the DRS on Frenzy so Cam's still in that DRS detection with Fuller's making a move on Cherry as we come along Fuller gets the move done going into turn one on Cherry misses Carl and Jay are also battling it out so there's still this battle going off at the back at the moment oh a little snap there from Cherry is this going to allow Mrs Cole to come through not at the moment Mrs Cole is a little bit closer to Cherry Jay is also there as well so Jay is that little bit closer as well So this could pretty much work out for Jay with how things are pretty much going at the moment for him we'll see Casto is still within DRS range of Lattice I think oh wow massive massive slide there from Casto trying to put the power down to get round the hairpin but manages to catch the rear of the car of that car of that McLaren Frenzy's pulled a little bit of a gap to Cam Chubb pulling the gap in as well to uh, Cam we've got a yellow flag Cherry what's happened to Cherry Cherry has a little bit of damage. So Manatee's in the pits. Jay and Mrs. Carl are up to... Mrs. Carl is up to P10. So at the moment, final point for Mrs. Carl. 
but we will still go full it is still chasing down Scotty so we could have a battle here between full air and Scotty J is closing down on Mrs. Carl got Cam with Chubb Chubb's looked to have made a move on Cam so Chubb how much ERS so Chubb's got 46% of his ERS Scotty at the moment got a comfortable gap to full A. Jay's making a move on Mrs. Carl going into turn one. Nice move there from Mrs. Uh, from Jay, Mrs. Carl squiggling a little bit, trying to get the power down as well. Get the car straight. Thought Mrs. Carl Cherry is in the pits. Mrs. Carl though isn't letting. J pretty much out of her sight so still there so this could be another battle we could keep an eye on as well going forward Scotty is up with Cam now is there problem with Cam. Cam hasn't stopped yet so could his tyres potentially be going off yet? I am unsure. Three second time penalty for Manatee and Ares. But we'll still see Scott is looking to make a move on Cam going into turn one. Scotty goes round the outside camp, still sticking. Is that move done? Scotty's got the move done there on camp. So I wonder if Cam's ties are falling off. Like I say, he did say in the little practice session that there will be all oh, Cam picks himself up a three second time penalty. Hungry is a track where it does eat your tyres so we will have to see what kind of pit stop strategy is going to do obviously he's told me but we'll see what happens as we go along Mickey G picks himself up a three second time penalty as well Castos on the rear. Got a couple of attempts off Stewie. Lattice has got a comfortable two, two and a half second gap to Stewie and Casto. Let's have a look at the back. Jay's closing in on full air. Does get the DRS. For the second lot of DRS, so Jay is comfortably coming up to the what's it? So let's get Sir Manatee back in because he's just left the session. It's a game invite sent there for Sir Manatee. So Jay will be looking to or see how far he can actually go with the harder compound of tyres that is on. And I believe there we go. Put my uh, the stream messed up the number did so Cam is in the pits. So this is the first pit stop for I think at the moment that's the first pit stop for mostly everybody. 
Jay and Sam Manatee have made a two stop. So we'll see how things go. Let's go up to the top. Cashed out. It's fired up again. Still running. Those soft compound tyres. 14 laps old, I think. 13 laps old, sorry, shall I say. So pretty much... Still got some tyre life in. Stewie does opt to make first pit stop out of the top three. Mickey G then. Up to P3. Scotty Chubb, full air. And Jay and Mrs. Carl will move up. So we will see how this also plans out. Mickey G at the moment is pretty much flying. Mickey G has picked up the pace by the looks of it. And is comfortably closing in. On Casto, Fuller picks up a three second time penalty. Jay's on the back of Fuller. And Scott as well, so we could potentially see a, another DRS train from these three. Is I think Sir Manatee's back. No, Sir Manatee's not back in yet. So, Mickey G has stopped. Let's quickly see if I can send another invite to him. He's not online. So we'll have to wait for that to see if he does come. Fastest lap set for Cam. A 118. Or was it a 118.8? For Cam. So at the moment, with how things are, so 15 laps on those soft tyres for cash them. So nice stint. On this tyre, so it will now change. Oh, Stewie, fastest lap of the race with a 118.1 on a set of medium tyres. So, Cam, oh, Casto, Mickey G. He's got the better of that car. Mickey G gets the better of that as he just comes out of the pits. So Mickey G and Casto battling it out as Mickey G... Or oh, sorry, as Casto comes out of the pits. Casto gets the better of that though. It's a nice move from Casto into turn four. So, seven second lead for Lattice, Frenzy, and Stewie. Uh, Chubb, sorry. Second and third 
three second time penalty for Cherry. Another fastest lap for Stewie. Fourteen laps. Oh, and the hard tyres for Jay. Jay at the moment is doing pretty solid. On those ties has got Stewie right behind him. Stewie Oh Stewie, I thought Stewie was gonna back out of that then. But Stewie's looking pretty quick as well, so we'll have to Take his time coming through. We will have other drivers in front of him that will need to pit again, I think. So at the moment, there's only two people that need to stop. Casto sets the fastest lap of the race. With a was it a one seventeen? So it's a one seventeen six for Castor Stewie. Now up to P four. So he's pretty much got a four second gap to his teammate and Frenzy. Frenzy still has to pit. Scotty picks himself up a three second time penalty. Lice still has to pit. Frenzy has to pit. This could really be anybody's race. At the moment, there's a little DRS line forming up behind uh, Scotty, Mrs. Carl, and Mickey G. Oh, but no, a little bit of a love tap there from Mickey G to Mrs. Carl. Mrs. Carl will get back on there. Casto making a move on Jay going into turn one. Jay was opting to look to make a move there. Full has made a move on Scotty. Casto's also made a move on Scotty. Casto looking to get full air at the same time as well. Great move there by Casto. Great move there, picks up three drivers in, I would say, one corner. Gets foot, gets Jay on the straight. Scotty just going into turn one and then gets full air coming out of turn one as well. We have, I think that is... Yes, that is Sir Manatee being lapped by the lead drivers. As well, Stewie and Chubb have switched places. So Stewie, at the moment, is for the line. Uh, Stewie is just flying at the moment. Lice has a eight and a half second lead we've got a yellow flag a res is out a res is out of the race so we have lost both of the red bull drivers now mickey g has also retired Mickey G's hit the safety car. So Mickey G is out. Th 
So, this could potentially be... Hmm. What tires does anybody will anybody else pit? I think mostly everybody's going to pit. So if that is Sir Manatee, um, Jack, if you are watching, or Stewie as well, if you're watching as well, um, just to make a life a little bit easier, I'd let Sir Manatee come by. I think you might as well just peel off track. Um, or find a safe place to do it so you can let Sermanity come through. So we'll have to wait to see, see how that will go. We'll have to wait and see. Um, just do it as safety so that's alright. So that's that done. Right, there's people changing places. So that is. So that's that done. So Sermanity will go. I presume past the safety car when he can. So he can get going catch up with the pike so I think oh there's drivers in the pits this is cars in the pits Ah, she's going for a new set. See, I th this this is where I think it should allow lap drivers to go by. Under safe under safety car. I know. I think it, I think it should allow you to go past under safety car rules. So. We'll have to see. Right, go, Mike. Go, sir, Manatee. Nice. So all he's got to do now is overtake the safety car. Safety cars in this lap. So Manity, you need to go, mate. If if and when you can, just to get yourself around the track. So we go. We will go back under racing. We just have to wait and find out. 
when like this will go so Manatee is already on his way so back up to the top we go everybody is comfortably on a fresh set of tyres so this could be anybody's now so away we go again good start from Lattice Castro who's already made a move already on his teammate oh Castro locks up there I think he, he, he was nearly into the back of Stewie Stewie's looking to make a move on Lattice there but he's still comfortably going Fully and Frenzy are going at it as well <coughs> excuse me looks like Fully got the bear of that but Frenzy's coming back we are going into the chicanes too wide going into the chicane wow <laughs> that, looked, that looked brilliant that did oh Jay gets a little bit of a snap but does manage to catch it and keep going but what a move by Frenzy but it looks like Fuller did get that so Fuller back Stewie on the back of Lattice did do catch up with Sir Manatee but Sir Manatee will let everybody go by so now we've got a battle for the lead. Might have a change of a battle as well. Stewie gets the lead of the race as we see as we go along. So Stewie up to P1, last P2. At the moment my prediction is working. With what I want my prediction is working. For how I see it, for how I see it, and how I want it, my prediction's working. So at the moment, we'll wait and see if that prediction falls or stays as it is. Oh, Scotty! Did Scotty run wide? I think Scotty ran wide just a little bit there. Jay, at the moment, is do doing pretty well to say he's on a set of medium tyres so he's actually sticking with the fast with the pack in front so that's a good one there for J. DRS is now enabled Lattice, Casto and Stewie are three seconds in front of full air full air has frenzy chub scotty jay cam cherry and mrs cole all behind him the top three are slowly pulling away as you see the drivers come through now let's quickly just go back to this little DRS train that's going off that is led by Fully just a little bit of a slide there from Scotty and Top three, a little, pretty much pulling it away. Lattice is going for a move into turn one on Stewie. Last of the late breakers is Lattice, and Lattice does get that. So Lattice back up to P1. Stewie P2 at the moment. Closely followed by Casto. Casto did a pretty solid drive in the sprint, dude the same again so everybody's pretty much doing the same solid drive at the moment we're on lap 27 of 35 if there is people that's just joining welcome everybody this is 
your Monday night stream of Rapid Pitch Oration OPR Round 10 at the Hungara Ring. I'm your commentator, Oro Cairo. And we are pretty much seeing again what we saw in the sprint race. Kastner picks himself up a three second time penalty. So, at the moment, my prediction is still there. We could pot potentially see a changeover. We don't know yet, but for the people that have joined and that are watching, let's quickly run down through what we have at the moment. So, Lattice in third, Stewie second, Cast in third, Full Air fourth. Followed by Frenzy in 5th, Chubb in 6th, Scotty P7, Jay has done an outstanding drive up to P8, Cam in P9, Cherry in P10, Mrs. Carl P11 and Sir Manatee in P12. We did lose Lice and Johnny in the first few laps and then we lost Ares roughly around about lap 14 I believe 14 15 and we lost Mickey G going into the back of the safety car so we've had a VSC and we've had a safety car as well. Friends is going to be looking to make a move going into turn one on full air, but full air with elbows out and everything still keeps that position from Frenzy. So at the moment, Frenzy at full air at the moment is defending with all his might, getting his elbows out making it hard for Frenzy to make up a position but Full Air does have the little DRS train at the moment of Chubb, Scotty and Jay and Cam as well Mrs. Carl on the rear of Cherry at the moment so we may see Mrs. Carl excuse me pull out or maybe see Mrs. Carl make a move on Cherry we'll, we'll keep an eye on that so the top three are pretty much separated by a few temps can we see Frenzy again look to make a move it looks like he's going for it going into turn one down and round the outside of full air but again, Full Air gets his elbows out and is still battling. Frenzy, Chubb's also coming to try and make a move in. Frenzy and Full Air still going at it. But Frenzy gets the move done on Full Air. So Full Air down a position at the moment. Scotty all over the rear of Chubb looking to make up position. Jay is also in the mix with this as well. So at the moment, this is a battle that we are willing to sit and watch. Now Frenzy is the lead of the top four with this DRS train. Everybody is pretty much closing in. Mrs. Carl's got the move done on Cherry. So it moved on there for Mrs. Carl up to Peter. Mrs. Carl will be looking to mo try and motor now and get up to this pack that's up in front of her that's battling ahead Frenzy at the moment is looking to maybe pull a little bit of a gap get out of the DRS range of Full Air Full Air still gets the DRS Chubb is going to, looking to make a move on Full Air going to turn one Full Air goes defensive Ops to go out wide. Chubb does get a really good run. Running a little bit wide. Going into 
turn three all the way around the outside now into the inside great move there by chum chum is up a position full air again down a position full air looking to come back going up into turn four opt to not make that move scotty now then misses call three second time penalty for mrs call still keeping a look on the battle at the top three nothing has changed yet Looks like Casto is a little bit closer to Stewie. So there could be a potential move there going or an overtake going there. We'll keep an eye on that at the moment. Full air at the moment is defending from Scotty. Scotty is looking to make a move. Jay's looking as well. Cam's back up in the mix with this battle up front. Or with the battle that's in front of him, Scotty now will look to make a move. Will Jay follow Scotty? Jay's got the slip, Scotty's got the slipstream looking to go down the inside. What's happening here? What's happening to Chum? It's not that full air was looking to make a move. On Chum going into the inside, Scotty's got the move. We've got a four way battle going off here. Absolutely amazing battle going off. Oh, Scotty! How is Scotty still alive? Will somebody please tell me how Scotty survived that? Oh my days! We had a four way bow between Full Air, Chubb, Jay and Scotty I think Scotty got a little bit of dirty air or something like that crashes straight, crashes into the wall but he's miraculously still driving like how like how how can Scotty come in to turn one turn two sorry or turn, turn two turn three Go into the wall, crash into the wall, still survive it. And get around coming to the pitch and get a new front wing. There's some new tyres. Like how? I've never seen that happen before. I really, really haven't seen that happen before. That, like I said, the bow, don't get me wrong, the bow was amazing. It was absolutely amazing, but... Sorry, not but, apart from that, safety car is in this lap. So we are going to have two laps of racing again like this is now the lead safety car let's hope we can get a couple of the drivers back up to the pack as well which looks like we've pretty much got mostly everybody back so this is it now everybody last two laps is going to go all the way down to the wire Waiting for Lattice to go. Could my predictions of my top three still change? We will wait and find out. And here we go. We are underway again. So great start from Lattice. Doesn't catch. And Chubb 
Jumps coming through, Cam's coming through as well. Cam's up to P4, let's go Cam. Come on mate, let's go. Going up through to that, Scotty and Mrs. Cole battling it out. Flair's battling it out. Mrs. Cole made a move on Frenzy, Frenzy. Mrs. Cole is still going. A little bit of a time there between, but not too much. Hopefully it doesn't affect too much of the racing frenzy down to the bottom Jay's retired Jay's out Jay's out what's happened to Jay oh we lose Jay Jay is out frenzy is up Cam's looking to make a move on Casto going into the final corner or second to last corner Cam might be looking here to get a podium full air is out of the race Cam is absolutely motoring on these fresh tyres looking to make a move going into turn one on Casto Cam up to P3 Mrs. Cole's made a move on Cherry Cherry's looking to come back on Mrs. Cole, Mrs. Cole and Cherry. Cherry does get that move done. Need to have a look at something. Oh, this is going to be pretty tight towards the end. We'll see how it goes. Cam is up to the lead two. We are on the final lap of the race. My prediction has kind of changed like I said it could be anybody's race doing that but let's go up to the top quickly as we come down Castro picks himself up another 3 second time penalty coming round the penultimate corner of this Hungara Grand Prix what a race we have seen so far or all the way through but Lais comes over the line in P1 Stewie in P2 Cam in P3 Casto comes over the line in P7 Chubb P4 Mrs. Carl P5 P6 for Cherry Castle P7, Frenzy P8. Scotty will come over the line in P7. P9, sorry. So Manatee will obviously finish as well and come over the line. The only thing that I can't believe what happened at the end of that is seeing Jay and Fuller retire at the end of the race. Scotty comes over the line for P8 for the final position. But what? Oh my god. Again, I think that was another one of my best races I've ever commentated on again. Driver of the day certainly has to go to camp. Certainly has to go to Cam. Oh my god! Obviously, we we'll, we will get we will get to Cam uh, and everybody else in the other party in just a few moments. Um, we'll also say, guys, if you are watching as well, make sure your voice chat is shared. But what a race we've seen up to now! So let's go to the race results then. Lattice in P1, Stewie P2, Cam in P3, Chubb P4, Mrs. Carl P5, Cherry P6, Castor P7, Frenzy P8, Scotty P9, so Manatee in P10, and we lost Full Air, J, Mickey G, Ares, Johnny, and Lister. But what a fantastic, fantastic race that was. I really did enjoy that, uh, especially in the sprint race as well. So just give me a few moments, guys. I am going to 
jump over to the other party. Uh, Cam, I'll see you over there in a quick second, mate. Um, and we will talk to the podium drivers. So, here we are again. Um, we will wait for Jack to jump in as well. But, first of all, great drive by everybody. Um, loved all the battles up and down. Same thing as the sprint. So, Let's go to um, P3, uh, podium winner, and my co-commentator, Cam. Hello. Hello. Um, right. I want to know, first of all, what happened in the sprint race? I just got sandwiched, unfortunately. I think it was Mrs. Carl and Mickey G on the outside, and I just unfortunately got... Just got stuck in the middle of it, unfortunately. So mm. uh, I had a lot to do in the actual race. So going in, actually going into that race. Yep. Um. Apart, apart from obviously, I already only kind of sort of knew what strategy you were doing because we spoke about yeah. that earlier. But what I told me this was: you expecting to get yourself a podium tonight even though we've absolutely had absolutely not absolutely not I'm slowish I'm slowish shit <laughs> I'm not even gonna, I'm, I was gobsmacked but when I was a bit surprised on that last safety car that Chubb and Jay didn't pit so when I seen them didn't yeah. pit and everyone else behind me I thought I better take this chance while I can so I pit fresh new fresh new softs and I had to, I had to pull the three second gap because of my stupid track limits but luckily mm. I did just Um, yeah, so um, I was wondering if, um, obviously, yes, you did, you, you did pit, um, yep. but my other thing was, um, obviously, you didn't know you was going to get um, yourself a podium or anything. Was there anything else that um, kind of worked for you going further more into the race? Just a few incidents, really. Like, I seen... I was just behind, obviously, the four-way scrap between Chubb, Jay, my teammate, and Scotty. And mm -hmm. how hard they, them four were fighting, there was going to be an accident. And long and behold, unfortunately, it was just my teammate, which got caught up in, this, in the end of it, unfortunately. Otherwise, it could have been a good result for Williams today. Either way, it still is. I'll still take it. Still take it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We've just been unlucky this season with incidences. Yeah, agreed on that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, thank you for that. That was your third place podium driver, Cam, for Team Williams. Now we will go to second place driver, Stewie. Hello. Hello, mate. Um, so, pretty, mu pretty much the same questions for you. Um how did you find the sprint race? Um, obviously, one shot qualifying was in the rain, but then it kind of changed um, into a drive for the sprint. So, just let us know how you thought you went through the race in the sprint and obviously um, onto the future race at the end. Um. Yeah, I thought all we right, to be fair, throughout the racing. Qualifying, I struggled in the wet. Um, but yeah, the, the races felt quite nice. Uh, I probably didn't push Jack through his absolute limit. I think I was struggling down the straight a little. Because um, I was right behind him in corners, but I just couldn't get any power uh, down in the final, mm. <laughs> down in the final corner. Yeah. Um, but no, it was, uh, was alright till the end. I started stressing a bit when I saw everyone box and I thought, oh, if we go back into <laughs> if we go back racing, we are screwed. But no, just managed to hang on. I think um, pretty much side by side with Cam across the line. Um, obviously, I have to disregard his penalty just in case he um, yeah. couldn't take it off. But 
So yeah, it's a good job from Cam. Uh, teammate was up there as well, did pretty good. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I, w I will say as well that there, there was sort of, um, during the main race, obviously, sort of like watching. I've, um, I know I wasn't focusing much on the front between um, yourself, Jack and Castro. Um, but I did kind of sort of see where sometimes the three of you were sort of equally spaced out and then it felt like that one of you, your tyres had sort of come back up to temperature again. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I was time measuring the entire first stint, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, just trying to look after those softs, let me make them last. I was quite surprised when Casto stayed out as long as he did. Uh, yeah, I was as well, actually, to be honest. Because my tyres are pretty much done. I don't, obviously don't know about his. Um, but yeah, it looked like... <sighs> To the safety car come out, I thought, oh god, Jack's got a beautiful strategy on the go here, just to make it ten times harder <laughs> than it already is. But um, it should be a real theme this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now uh, I managed to get through the, the pack pretty, pretty nicely, uh, pretty clean as well. Um, yeah, chuffed for that. Mhm. Mm so yeah, like I say, um, sort of like keeping an eye on that and obviously watching. Like what was happening? It, it, uh, to be honest, it was a, a pretty decent race. Um, so that was Stewie in P2. Now we'll go to the race winner, Jack. Is there anybody that can stop Jack from winning uh, a race at least? At least is, is, is there going to be that one person to actually stop Jack? from winning maybe one race or maybe I don't I can't even remember I can't even remember how far um, how much points you are in front I mean absolutely I, you look at every single race in the past the second half of the season look how close it's been yeah between myself Stewie Casto or Johnny in, in Singapore um, I mean Epic was made to turn up tonight so uh, but couldn't say it was going to be like a four-way fight for the lead. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, with four races left, anything can still happen. Silverstone always throws up a good race. We know oh, that. Um, yeah, I everyone, can't wait for everyone's that. Always, everyone's always up for it, and you would normally get... Uh, it's quite easy to follow and uh, overtake, um, especially when you're in them top two positions, top three positions. You can... Um, Sort places quite often, so mm -hmm. uh, I definitely, I definitely think, yeah, like I'm not invincible, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, no, I'm just like everyone else. Um, so obviously, we spoke about that. So Jack, roughly, um, I tell you what, let's let's go to sort of the main race, the battle between mm. um, you, Stewie, and Casto. Um, like I say, I was watching, keeping an eye on it, you know, going through, obviously seeing other battles as well, but the amount of, um, how can I put it? Um, the amount of sort of your racing, I, I can't even say the word. What are you trying to say? Is it equity? Your etiquette. racing etiquette, that's the one. Your racing etiquette between, obviously, you three. Mm. How um, how did you find it with obviously I know there's been like other races where we do see you still in Castro battling out and stuff, mm. but how did you find it going round the Hungara ring? Obviously, I class uh, I class it as Monaco, but without the walls. Yeah, I, I think it can produce some good wheel wheel racing actually, especially through that. Um, First sector, if you if you know the people you're racing against and you, you're confident they're just as mm. clean as what you are, then you can often get some good racing. Um, I was practicing with my teammate earlier in the week. Um, just racing, it's good to do that in practice, to just, yeah. just do a bit of racing against someone. Send moves that you wouldn't normally send in an actual race just to get a feel of the, of the actual limit. Uh, so now, um, oh, I love racing around Hungary. Um, I could churn out laps for days and it's even better when you have a bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing which is what I, I did have with Stewie 
Um, mm. It's difficult to have a three-way fight. It, it, normally, if you're that third car in a train, uh, it's difficult. You, you have to properly, you have to go aggressive um, on the guy in P2. Um, I thought Castro was going to do at one point, uh, but he didn't. Um, but yeah, normally you just get a, a 1v1 fight when, when you're at the front like that. So mm. and it was great, great, great racing with Shuey. Yeah, definitely. I'll um, I'd actually agree with you on that. Um, apart from that, is there anything else that you'd like to say? This goes to obviously the podium drivers, um, and I think full airs in here as well. Um, so, like I say, if there's anything else you want to say, the floor's open to you know whatever you want to say. I just want to say congratulations to Cam. For getting that podium, he's done well there. He's the, he's, he's put I wish there was another five laps. I he's... might have might have had a chance if there was another five laps because you two are on old tyres. I might have had a chance. Yeah, but yeah. Lucky, I mean, you, you were you were right with us, mate. Um, so, so now massive congratulations. Um, Thank you. And then then the only other thing that I'd say is you know despite um, Max or uh, Manny uh, Manny T. Max. <laughs> his, what? What are you talking about? I thought you meant Max Verstappen, then I'd buy my dive bomb and I was going to say. My teammate, uh, despite my, my teammate's uh, Wi Fi issues, um, you know, still brought home some great points. Uh, McLaren yeah. got stinker, which is good to see. Um, and I think, I think I might be able to win the Drivers' Championship in Silverstone, so that'll be a good oh, one. Oh, that wall, we'll have to wait and see. Now, I, will, I do want to mention one particular driver. And he qualified in P1 in one, in one shot. Oh, I know he's going to get mentioned here. And he actually fought with, obviously, Jack, Stewie, and Castro as well, I believe, or it was Chubb. Um, but I want to give a shout out to Jay. Yeah, oh, I think he put in a cracking lap in in quality. To say, um, to, say to say that obviously he did, he did really well in the uh, in the sprint. But uh, I think he he got into a collision or something in the sprint, and then um, in the race as well. So, but yeah, I've definitely got to give a shout out to Jay for yeah, Q, no, for for the sprint. He's put in a great lap there. Um, yeah. I oh, know I I raced with him at the beginning and got by him. And, um, yeah, I think he had. I think he DNF'd in both races. To be fair, I'm mm. not too sure. But no, um, that quality was good. He just yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so if there isn't any, if there isn't anything else you want to say, guys. Um, obviously, the only thing I'll say to you is congratulations. Um, on your race wins. Um. Like I say, I hope um, everybody enjoys the comms every la every race and stuff like that. But to say, to obviously seeing what what was racing in the end, or what I saw towards the end was fantastic. Um, but other than that, um, this has been RPR racing, rapid pixel racing. Join us next week for Silverstone um, to see if Jack can win the Drivers' Championship at Silverstone. We'll have to see what happens as it goes from there. Um, Should be a good one. Hopefully it will be a good race like it was tonight. But other than that, guys, as again, as I say, this is our PR Rapid Puxel Racing. I've been your commentator, IRL Cairo. Congratulations to the podium drivers and until next week, I'll see you again next week. Good night, guys.